let me ask you a question before getting into our video how many schools do we have in india please leave your answers in the comment section below in this video about bachelors of education we will try to answer four basic questions what is b ed who can do this degree how is the structure or curriculum designed for b ed and why anyone should do this degree at the end we can also discuss the career opportunities after doing this degree now coming to our first question what is b ed it is an undergraduate degree which prepares students to become school teachers the course duration will range from 2 years to 4 years and the course has theoretical knowledge by also involving practical experiences the curriculum has a blend of foundational knowledge in pedagogy educational psychology teaching methodologies and subject specific trainings as we all know b ed is a very noble profession let's try to understand who is eligible for this program any student with undergraduate degree is eligible to get into b ed programs under graduation can be from any stream from ba bsc bcom to bba and btech a candidate should also have 55 percentage marks of aggregate when you are from a general category and if you are from any reserved category you should have 50 percentage of marks and there is also an entrance exam to get into b ed programs uh, we have it in state levels and also at central levels b ed program is usually offered in three different types first one is general b ed where a candidate can become a normal school teacher in b ed special education you will be becoming a special educator after this course where you will be recruiting into special schools for the differently able children or the disabled children coming to the third category integrated b ed you can call this as a dual degree program as well where you will have bsc b ed as a dual degree course at the same time you can do your normal degree and also this b ed program which will be a four year course we have methodology as part of b ed program uh, to classify this into very broad categories we have uh, core subjects and also languages as one more subject area in core subject we have biological sciences mathematics physical sciences and social science as a very broad categories and in language we have english hindi sanskrit urdu and we have kept telugu as keeping telugu states in context uh, you will be getting to know more about methodologies in the coming slides as a student i always have this question why should a student study all the six subjects but a teacher teaches only one and i got to know the answer very recently when working on this bed program and structure coming to the different methods we have discussed here biological sciences mathematics physical sciences and social sciences in order to become a teacher of specific subject you should also have some background of the subject if you take biological sciences as an example to become a science teacher you should have botany zoology microbiology biotechnology or any equivalent courses as part of your graduation in the same line when you look at the pedagogy of languages you should have any particular language as part of your undergraduation to become a language teacher of any particular subject like english sanskrit hindi or urdu now i think you have got this answer why a teacher teaches only one subject and students should study all the six subjects now let's try to look at some career opportunities after doing this b ed program as we all know that after completing this b ed program you will be a teacher it can be a private school teacher or a government school teacher you can also get into gurukulas at central level we also have eklavyas and kvs with mmed programs you can also become a school principal and with greater experience of teaching you can also further get into mmed and dead roles along with all this career opportunities if you are interested you can also get into some research roles and curriculum development roles as well as we all know teaching is a very noble profession i want to end this video with a small quote a good teacher can inspire hope ignite the imagination 
and instill a love of learning. So, when you are choosing teaching as your career, be it a choice but not as a last option. Thank you for watching our video. And also, don't forget to give answer for our question. How many schools do we have in India? I'll be waiting for you in the comment section. Thank you all.